The companies who do the most innovative work uh, all do it in the exact same way. So whether it's someone like an Apple or a Toyota or uh, Google or even companies that, that aren't in a technology space or, or in a, um, a large manufacturing space, they all operate the same way. They think about how they can innovate in ways to bring better experiences to their customers and they build technologies and processes around that. So that's the kind of thinking that we focus on in this class a way to think about that end experience. How do you create vision so other people can, can fill that in and help you think in better ways? How do you understand what that customer is actually experiencing? How do you see it from their perspective? And, and giving a, a process that, that anybody can use uh, that allows you really to, to be more innovative and to think in, in brand new ways. We spend time up front talking about a 10-step design process. This is a process that's very similar to many other design processes that are out there in the world. Everyone has a design process. But this one focuses on people. And it has a few differences that are really important. We focus on different kinds of people. Because anytime you're in a company and you want to affect big change, you're not just designing for a customer, but all the people that are between you and that customer. That could be a, a partner, that could be um, a retail channel, it could be people and functions within the organization that you're in. And all those groups are stakeholders that have to work together in order to deliver something that's really magical for that customer. And we focus a lot of time thinking about how that process feeds that, that really critical element of, of stakeholders and how you can create vision in really powerful ways and very unusual ways too.